Good evening, I'm forecaster Kaylee Hunt, and taking a look at the satellite radar, it was partly cloudy for most of the viewing area, and southeast New Mexico got a little bit of isolated thunderstorms and showers that did take place earlier this evening. But here's a look at the temperatures right now. It was a very, very hot day. Temperatures have climbed out of the 90s. We're sitting at mid to upper 80s for Midland and Odessa, 92 for Wink, 93 in Pecos, but south of I-10, a little bit cooler in the mid to lower 80s. And just seeing where we are now compared to where we were this time yesterday. Yesterday, well, to the eastern part of our viewing area, a little bit warmer, just by about three degrees. But off to the west, they're getting a little bit of that rain activity, which is why their temperatures are just slightly cooler right now. But seeing exactly how cool it's going to get overnight into tomorrow morning, well, temperatures are going to dip down into the mid to lower 70s. 75 for Midland Odessa at 7 a.m., 74 for Big Spring, even south of I-10, mid to upper 60s. These temperatures are just slightly above average. Could be a little bit cooler. But then by lunchtime, we are going to climb right back up into the mid to upper 80s. So it is going to be another warm day come tomorrow. But tracking to see when we're going to get any rain in the forecast, well, right now, south of I-10 is seeing a little bit of isolated thunderstorms and showers. That's going to make its way out of the viewing area, exiting along the southern border overnight into tomorrow morning. But tomorrow morning is going to be a little bit cloudy, but we're not going to see any rain, at least not in the Permian Basin, south of I-10. Is where all the action is going to be. South of Fort Stockton, definitely going to see a little bit of isolated thunderstorms and showers tomorrow around 5 p.m. But then that's going to clear right on out. But in the Permian Basin, we're really not seeing any more rain activity, and that's not good for a drought monitor because, well, a large portion is showing up orange, meaning it's showing up severe on this drought category. We really could use a little bit more rain, but talking about rain, dew points are actually a little bit at average, which is kind of shocking. Right now they're sitting at 61. Could could be a little bit better, but overnight to tomorrow morning, they're actually going to increase just a tad into the mid to upper 60s, meaning there's some moisture in the air. And as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning, it's actually going to feel just a little bit muggy. Now, dew points will decrease, but in the Permian Basin, they're still going to remain in the 60s. So as you're running errands tomorrow around 1 p.m., it's still going to be just a little bit muggy outside. And along with the dew points, a little bit higher than what we have been seeing, it's also going to be another warm day. Day. Andrews is forecasted to be 98, Seminole 96, Midland and Odessa 98 degrees, Monahans 99, but Barstow definitely going to be hot. Drink some water, 102 in Barstow, 100 in Grand Falls. Now, Pecos will be in the mid upper 90s, except for Pecos, 101 in Pecos and 100 degrees in Red Bluff, but for the rest of them in the mid to upper 90s. Now, the mountains always run just slightly cooler, 84 in Fort Davis and 90 degrees in Alpine, but what does the seven day forecast look like? Stay tuned after the break to find out.